Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I'm Alicia. Today we're doing a little get ready with me video because I'm going to an event tonight and I'm kind of excited for it. I only found out about this event a couple of days ago and only decided to go like yesterday. <laughs> but it sounds exciting. I've never heard of it. It's the NGV Teen Art Party, which is an art gallery who's holding like this high school party which is really cool and all my friends are going so I've decided that I'm gonna go why not have a little bit of fun so I'm just getting ready for that now and then I'm gonna go to the train station and catch a train in there with my friends starting off I'm using the elf power grip primer just to make it last a little longer I'm not using a whole heap I'm probably also not gonna wear a foundation. My skin's been clearing up, which is fantastic. Just in time for like summer, spring, weather. Okay, I put that kind of on all the areas that I usually put concealer. I should probably clip my bangs back somehow. Or maybe I can just wear the tiara that like sits on my little penguin. Penguin, that's not a penguin. This is an octopus, but I have a, like a little tiara that sits on her head. There we go, that's how I'm keeping my bangs back, with the tiara, that works. Alrighty! And then before I put any actual makeup on my face, I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray to kind of prime my face. I don't know, it does something, it makes my makeup stay on. So how have we all been? Let me know what you guys have been up to. I have been at school, but my school term ends on Friday. Exciting. So one more week left of the school term and then I'm done. Which I know some people might find weird because I know a lot of people's school years are just now starting. Whereas mine is about to end. For concealer, I just use the e.l.f. Camo Concealer Hydrating, whatever it is. And I've really been loving like just putting it on the back of my hand. And then with my damp beauty blender, which I also prime with setting spray. I like dab it on my hand first and then put it on my skin. I don't know. I feel like it gives a more natural finish. I kept finding that my makeup was getting really cakey and I find this doesn't make it cakey at all. Also, this sponge is like amazing. It's my favorite thing ever. It's the Juno and Co sponge. So it's a microfiber sponge and the makeup doesn't actually sink into the actual sponge, which means you get to use all of your makeup. I don't know. And I find it gives like a really seamless finish. I love this sponge. Ah! Anyways, back to school because that's what we were talking about. I am finishing for the term this coming Friday and then I get a two week break and then I go back to school for term four and I'm only there for two weeks before I graduate which is really exciting. It's coming to the end of my schooling days. So, got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of final assessments. I'm planning a art exhibition for my class, our graduate exhibition. And then I'll graduate towards the end of October. And then I don't have any more school. I've decided, after thinking about it and considering it for a very long time, that I am going to take a gap year next year. I had originally planned to go straight into uni, but you know what? I have been doing schooling for 13 years straight. I really just need a break to relax, to focus on myself. I want to travel a lot. I want to focus on my content creation because I'm really enjoying that at the moment. As well as just having some free time to like experiment with my art, experiment with different things. I, I'm probably going to go do some acting classes, which is exciting. Me and my friend plan to do that. And then maybe go back to school in 2025. We'll see. <laughs> I also just feel like I need more time to kind of deliberate and consider what I want to do if I do go to uni or if I do go to college. I was thinking of doing interior design, but I don't know. I'm kind of thinking about doing like a fine arts course or something. I'm really not too sure. And that's why I want to take that gap year also to just think about that, consider all my options, consider if school is really something for me. I've struggled a lot with my schooling in the past. By the way, the contour that I use, the cream contour, is the Cryolan makeup um, foundation palette. And I just use the darker shades for my contour. As I was saying, I haven't had the easiest schooling experience, I would say. From a very young age, I always loved learning and I loved education. But just 
I've always struggled with the social part of schooling. Pretty much every single school I've been to, I've been bullied in one way or another, which is not fun. And I know uni is not going to be the same as that. And then on top of that, I've always just like struggled to feel like I entirely fit in somewhere. And I don't know if this is just me. Like I'll be in a situation and I'll be surrounded by a group of people who totally understand me and who get me. And in my head, I know that like, I'm where I'm meant to be and I'm okay in this space but no matter what I've always felt slightly uncomfortable or like I don't fully belong and I don't really know why. It's just always been something that's felt like I don't fully belong in this space. But anyways, I did have a really big school event last night which was one of my major assessments. We do this like music festival thing at my school where all the music students do performances. They're incredible, they get to show off their talents. And then all the art kids, so my class, make products and we make a brand and we get to sell our products at this like market thing. So I did that yesterday and I was very proud of how it turned out and it was so nice getting to see all of my hard work finally pay off. For my blush, I'm going to use the Rare Beauty blush in the shade Bliss. I just got this one. I had been using the Rare Beauty blush in the shade Hope. Is it Hope? Joy? joy which is this like orange color and i just kind of wanted a more like nudie pink color and i'm loving this shade it's so gorgeous but back to talking about my art stall i was selling a variety of products so what did i sell i sold tote bags i sold jumpers like hoodies i sold key rings i sold badges I sold earrings, I sold scrunchies, but I feel like the store went really well and it was quite successful so I'm proud of myself and I'm proud of the work that I put in. And that was one of my assessments so I'm glad it's over because it was stressing me out for a very long time. But it's over, it's done, I don't have to worry about it anymore, I can focus on my final art exhibition piece which is a video piece. I touched on it briefly in a different video, I talked about what I was gonna do. But I have to finish that off this week because it's due. It's fine, it will be done. And then, I don't know if you can see, but it's the Kosas setting powder. And I'm just gonna like touch that under my eyes to stop it from creasing. And then I'm gonna spray my face again with my setting spray. I feel like I've kind of mastered my makeup routine. Like usually it would take me like 45 minutes to an hour. I can now get my makeup done in 25 minutes or less, which is cool. Cause I've just been able to figure out what works for me and how I like to do my makeup. So I'm happy. We'll let that dry down a little bit. Also, my hair's pink now, again. It's like a rose gold pink. I love this color. I've always loved this color in my hair. And it's actually just a shampoo that I've been using. I went to my hairdresser with like a bunch of inspo picks and I was like, this is what I want my hair to look like. And she's like, well, it's really hard to achieve that color. So I can't like just give you a dye and it will just dye your hair that color. And I was like, damn. <sighs> But she's like, here's this shampoo. It's meant to turn your hair like a rose color. And I was like, you know what? Thank you. I'll take it. And this is the color my hair is now. And I'm really loving it. I don't know. It feels magical. All right. I'm moving on to eyeliner. And I use the Mecca Max eyeliner pen. It's the Wink Ink eyeliner. This is one of the best eyeliner pens I have ever used. Someone suggested it to me in my TikTok comments. Whoever you are, you're incredible. It just, it stays on all day. It's like, I don't know if it's waterproof, but like I will draw on it with my hand and it will not come off. Like I will wash my hands and the liner will still be there. So it stays really well. But I also, I, I have to focus while doing my eyeliner, otherwise it's not gonna work. I think that's the most even I've done my eyeliner in a while. I'm gonna go grab my eyelashes because they're downstairs and I'll be back. I'm gonna apologize for all the noise in the background. I can't really stop it. And I'm a time, I'm on a time crunch so I can't really like prevent filming this. But I'm going to curl my eyelash. Oh, I should have got my eyebrow gel while I was downstairs. Oh well. So I'm gonna curl my eyelashes first with this eyelash curler, it's from MCO Beauty. And then the mascara I use is the Essence Bye Bye Panda Eyes Mascara. It's like $3 and one of the best mascaras I have ever used. Anyways, for this party tonight, this art party, 
I have no idea what I'm gonna wear. Eek, it's like still winter weather, even though we're officially in spring. And I know that's another debate that always happens in my comment section when I mention like seasons and the weather, because Australia's seasons is flipped from those countries in the Northern Hemisphere. So when you have summer, I have winter. When I have winter, you have summer. And in Australia, we categorize our seasons based on months. So summer lasts from the 1st of December through to the 28th or 29th of February. And then autumn starts on the 1st of March and goes through to the 31st of May and so on. So we categorize our seasons by months. We don't categorize it by dates, which I know some countries do. So spring for us starts on the 1st of September and it is currently the 10th of September. 10th? What's today's date? Alexa, what's the date? Today is Saturday, September 9th. Sorry, it's the 9th of September. But it looks like next week we're gonna have some really, really nice weather, which I'm looking forward to. As much as I love the cooler seasons and the cold weather, at this point, I'm starting to get a little bit tired of it. And I'm looking forward to the sunny weather that's coming up in these next few months. Next week, it's gonna be like mid twenties all week, which is gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be sunny, so that's gonna be nice. And then it looks like it's gonna be sunny on my school holidays as well. So that's also very nice. I saw this hack on TikTok where you put eyelash glue along your lash line as well as putting it on your lashes because it makes it stick better. And you know what? I kind of believe it. It, it kind of works. So I've glued up my lashes. They're just, oh, wait, it's chipping. They're just the little like accent ones from Kmart. And then I put some glue on the top of my eyelids. I was gonna say eyebrows, but got my eyebrows. And then with, I'm using the Essence Lash and Brow Gel because that's what I've got up in my room. I'm just gonna brush out my brows. I don't really like filling in my brows. I feel like they look weird if I fill them in. And then we kind of just wait for all that lash glue to like tack up a bit. I've got that Teen Titans song stuck in my head. You know the one that's going viral on TikTok at the moment? Like, oh, the fire, the man, the, the alien princess in my alien attire. I've got it stuck in my head. It's been stuck in my head all week. See, I've only, I've only been recording for 24 minutes and I'm almost done with my makeup. I have nailed my makeup routine. I'm so proud of myself for figuring out how to do my makeup. A lot of people don't like the fact that I wear makeup and to them I say, it's not your face. Don't worry. Shout out to that girl on TikTok who taught me how to apply my lashes properly. I can't remember who you are or what your username is, but you actually changed my life. Now I'm just gonna powder the rest of my face with my Colsus powder, the same powder I used on my eyes, just with the rest that's left on the powder puff. I'm just gonna powder the rest of my face. Finally, just set my face. And that's all my makeup. I'll put lipstick on after I get dressed. Otherwise it will go everywhere. But I wanna do some more waves in my hair, just recurl it a bit. And my hair's looking, like my bangs are looking a little flat, so I need to like puff them up a bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of heat protectant in, just to make sure my hair doesn't burn. And I'm just gonna like roll them forward. And with like one of these Velcro rollers, roll them up like that. And I'll do the same with the other one. And then with the rest of my hair, I'm just gonna curl it. Now I'll take those out. See, it doesn't really need long in the little, although they're not doing, this side's doing the thing, like the little swoopy thing. This side is not. I'm gonna roll it, but do I get that way? And then there we go, that's better. I'll leave the curls to like naturally drop and like, fall out but I need to find an outfit so I'm gonna think about that for a minute and then get back to you and show you what I've found. Alright after messaging all of my friends and asking them what they're wearing I've come to a conclusion of what I think I might like to wear. I'm still not sure. I'll try it on if it looks crap I'll change. So I'm thinking this long sleeve white corset type top with this pleated skirt. And then under the skirt, I'll wear my like fluffy, fuzzy, fleece looking tights with a pair of sheer rip tights 
over the top of those with my Windsor Smith platform boots and then a jacket of some sort. I'm not vibing with this white top. Um, cause like the rest of my outfit is kind of like dark and then the white top kind of just looks a little bit out of place. Let me see if I have a black jacket and maybe that will work. Like what if I go grandpa vibes? No, 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 no. But if I wear pearls, like accessorized with pearls, I really want to wear these shoes because they make me really tall. If I put pearls and then, what if I wear this jacket? Wait, that's not too bad because then I've got like light on the top, dark on the bottom. Perhaps, maybe, not too bad. Maybe getting somewhere. I really don't think I like the top. I think the top looks weird. And then I'll wear this big bomber jacket because it keeps me warm. And then I'm gonna wear like these pearl hoop earrings. There we are. Slay. And then perfume. So glad I figured out an outfit. That was stressing me out a little. All right, well, I'm ready to go. Here's the final look and here's the fit. I've got to run. I actually didn't realize what time it is. And to get on the bus to get to the train station in time, I need to leave in like three minutes. So <laughs> I've got to run. I'll talk to you later. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. I don't want to be false. Pretend we're picture perfect.